South Africa has a very idealistic foreign policy, and Ramaphosa is certainly underlining that, wanting to reignite the sentiment of the Mandela era that South Africa must be a guiding light, a shining light, uh, championing human rights around the world. So he is deeply embarrassed about xenophobia, and it's certainly something he's trying to address at a multitude of uh, multilateral and, and bilateral meetings that he has with world leaders. However, the reality about foreign policy and foreign relations, it's about who's the most powerful, and to have power, you need money. So if you look at uh, how powerful South Africa is at the moment, it's been struggling economically for over 10 years. Southern Africa as a whole in the last four or five years has not been doing very well, whereas West Africa and East Africa have been doing very well. The strongest growing economies on the continent are no longer in Southern Africa. Southern Africa is losing its status as the engine uh, of the African economy. So uh, in that sense, in the African context, the African Union, South Africa will no longer be the, the leading lights it once was, and also internationally. If you look at um, the UK, it's prioritizing South Africa as one of the countries with which to build its trade and investment relations post-Brexit. But uh, because of the complexity and um, the, the delays in, in the Brexit process, taking up so much political energy and resources, the UK economy is uh, showing that, um, there's not so much the UK can do for South Africa. The same for the United States. Um, Donald Trump has been president. He's halfway through his presidency. There's still no ambassador in Pretoria. So the only major world power that is significantly invested in South Africa's future at the moment is China. China's human rights record speaks for itself. And so it's a very interesting dynamic that will play itself out over the coming years, where South Africa wants to champion this Mandela-era policy of human rights, but it's doing so without much of an economic foundation, with a declining power, and um, being forced to work more closely with China. And you see it in South Africa's um, voting record at the UN Security Council, where it votes more with China and Russia, and, and less with the U.S. and the West. Right. And that well, is often just, seen as not being very pro-human rights. 